Good to have you with us on Publicity. I'm Barry Lee, and this is the program that helps uh, keep you informed about what's going on with the city of Winchester as far as government events and programs. So in past publicities, we've talked about the spotted lanternfly, and we're revisiting that. There's something new on the horizon here in the city called the Hub. And with us is Kyle Schweizer. He is the GIS coordinator. And before we talk about the hub, Kyle, good to have you with us. And what is a GIS coordinator? Uh, it's, GIS stands for Geographic Information Systems. So I'm in charge of all the mapping needs that the city has and requests. I'm also in charge of uh, maintaining all the public facing applications, uh, GIS public facing applications. Excellent. So what is the hub? Uh, the hub um, is a, is a, a cloud-based platform um, that we're utilizing uh, to inform and engage the public um, about various issues and initiatives that are going on within our community. Um, we're utilizing it to um, get information out there about the Spartan Land Supply. So with the hub, Kyle, how is the city utilizing that to work as far as identifying spotted lanternfly and getting rid of them? <laughs> so Jen Jenkins and myself, we've created a hub initiative um, geared towards the spider lanternfly. It's called Stop the Spider Lanternfly. Um, so what we're using that for is just to get information out there. The goal was to get information out there about the spider lanternfly and also give citizens another avenue to funnel, um, funnel them into USDA, VDAX, and uh, Virginia Cooperative Extension information. And how can ordinary citizens access the site? Uh, there's a couple ways. Um, they can simply just Google some key terms. Um, it would be SLF Winchester Hub, um, or they can uh, go to our Facebook page. We'll be posting um, a post uh, about the site on there and then also on our website. Um, we can integrate it with our GIS open data portal, um, so we'll have a, a little link on that open data portal side um, for them to get to it. Alrighty, and as far as uh following this initiative and other future initiatives. Uh, what word can you pass along there? So on each initiative site, we'll have a button on the bottom um, that will say, follow this initiative. Um, and what that does is by them following the initiative, they can either create a, a community, hub community account that will give them access to the site and uh, future events. Um, but they can also follow the initiative by um, a Google account or a Facebook account as well. And so the reasons for visiting that site, I guess it could be, just depends, right? I mean. Sure, so we're gonna be updating the site pretty regularly with information that we're getting from USDA, VDAX, and the Virginia uh, Tech Extension Office. Um, we will be um, updating all the data on there based on information that they're giving us. Um, and following the initiative also gives us um, the ability to send out notifications to citizens about events or any updates or any information that we have about SLF. Very, very cool. If people have questions uh, that are seeing this, uh, where do they go? Um, so on the page, we have a contact us at the top, as well as quarantine information to contact us. Um, they'll be able to reach out to Jen Jenkins and myself um, directly about the site. Um, we also have a report, Aspire Lanternfly Siding, um, which they can fill out, and uh, Jen Jenkins and myself will be notified, as well as the Virginia uh, Tech Extension Office. All right, Kyle Schweizer, yes, GIS sir. coordinator, thank you very, very much. Great. And speaking of Jen Jenkins, who is the city arborist, we'll be talking with her next, right after this. Ever wonder why a decision was made or how a city government service is provided? Do you know how your tax dollars are spent or how your drinking water is processed? Get all these answers and more at the City of Winchester's annual Insight Citizens Academy. The Academy is held one evening each week, January through April, and provides local residents the opportunity to discover their city through interactive, hands-on activities, discussions, and facility tours. One Inside graduate said the program was a highlight of his life in Winchester. Another graduate pronounced that if he was czar of Winchester, he'd make this program mandatory. Registration is accepted year-round. Sign up today and gain insight into your local government. Welcome back to Publicity. Jen Jenkins is the arborist for the city of Winchester. Jen, good to see you again. Last time we were together, we were looking at pictures and talking about this pesky spotted lanternfly and all the damage it can do. So since that showing, where do we stand now with the spotted lanternfly? Well, unfortunately, we still have them. Okay. Uh, more of them than what we had last year. Uh, currently, if you're out looking for them, uh, we're being advised to look for the adults and also the egg masses. 
So they're, they're laying their eggs, unfortunately, mm. which will hatch next spring. Um, what's interesting and, and what has changed from, you know, earlier parts of the year is that uh, their preferred host or one of their, you know, closely burnt, tied uh, species, the tree of heaven, it's kind of shutting down for the year. You know, we're, okay. we're going into fall season, so they're not really getting what they need, feeding off of that exclusively. And so they've shifted their host species a bit. Uh, silver maple and red maple are a particular target right now. Uh, if you have them on Tree of Heaven, they'll also be on a variety of other tree species, cherries, honey locust, uh, hackberry, also Virginia creeper and grapevine. And so as, uh, as the Tree of Heaven drops its leaves, it's going to shift its focus to stay around in the adult phase for a little bit longer. So when we find these, uh, these egg masses or the adults, uh, so what do we do? So we're being advised right now to do two things. First of all, kill whichever adults that you can find in the egg masses. If the populations are small uh, in the trees and the vegetation around your house, just swat them, smash them. Uh, if you find the egg masses, you can simply scrape them into a container that has some hand sanitizer or rubbing alcohol uh, or get them on the ground and smash them with your with your shoe uh, anything works uh, credit card um, pocket knife a stick uh, so get we're them talking off high of tech the here surface. Yeah. it is yes <laughs> yeah yeah the uh, and, and a, a reminder you know for people that well i'm not sure that what i'm seeing is really spotted lanternfly and where do we send them just to refresh them uh, you know, with what they look like, what they should be looking for. Right, so Kyle talked about the new hub site that we have for SLF. It's got a great story map on there. It goes through all of the different life stages, okay. lots of good information, and also a lot of good links that's gonna take people back to Virginia Tech Extension websites, VDAX, uh, USDA, and so um, I'm, I'm excited about that project and it, it turned out really well. And so I hope folks will, will take a chance to um, take a couple minutes to look at that. Yeah. Um, one other important thing is that we're being re uh, kind of reminded that uh, SLF likes to lay their egg masses on lots of things. So if you have outdoor furniture, firewood, pallets, um, you know, your deer stand that's been sitting behind your shed for a year, uh, your vehicles, that before you move these items outside of Winchester or Frederick County, particularly if you're in a highly infested area, that you look for adult SLF and the egg masses and get rid of those because, uh, you know, the, the greatest chance of them moving and spreading long distances is from unintentional human transport. So we are moving them around. So it's now it's <laughs> a really important time for us to be doing those inspections. And even though citizens are not required by the quarantine to do that, uh, unless they're moving large items, just as a courtesy, we're, we're being asked to do that. And Virginia Tech Extension has also released a new publication, uh, which you can find a link for on the hub site, but it's, uh, it's called Resident control for spotted lantern fly in Virginia and that's going to give uh, residents and citizens a good checklist and some good information. All righty. Well I guess it was too much to think that their numbers were dwindling uh, but it's up to us to uh, to try to hold it at bay here. It certainly is. All right. Jen Jenkins, Arborist with the Thank City of so Winchester. Much. Thank you very very Thank much. You. Thanks for joining us on Publicity. We'll see you next time.